All right, so I'm excited about this one. I bought 10 PlayStation 4s for repair, and let's see how many I can fix. Let's open this box up and get started. All right, all right, there they are. Let's take this one from the top and see what's up. Label number one. We can see that they've been opened before. Somebody re attempted repairs on these. Some of these things are broken, who knows? Um, we'll fix them all. We'll refurbish every single one of them. Um, let's turn this one on, let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. No beeping, no nothing. So we gotta take this one apart and see what's up. This one has a lot of ribbon cables that are broken, the hard drive might be bad, but we got it to beep, and um, it actually just turns on for a second and turns off. That's a blue light of death, let's put it onto the machine. So I like to take the board out of the system and actually test it. Um, and I've noticed that somebody did a e APU repair previously, so they could have already messed this one. So we cleaned this and it's ready to be placed under the Metcal. It's a $50,000 machine. Nobody can really do these kinds of repairs other than TDR, in a sense. So, let's do it. Alright, we're on the Metcal right now. Let's see what We got the first curve. Good, that's stage one. We got stage two, three, and four. Four is in the red. A lot of bad things could happen over here, but then we have a nice cooling period, a controlled cooling, and uh, you know, let's wait for this to finish up. So it's cooling down and it's almost done with the cooling stage. We're still gonna have to let it sit for another five to 10 minutes uh, for it to reach operable temperatures because this is right here 150 degrees. I don't think I can touch that. All right, so moment of truth, let's see. Oh completely disassemble the motherboard to take a look into if there's a short on this board and yes we did find in the main power um, rails that there's a short so we're gonna leave this for all right number two came with no cover on the hard drive and have you ever heard of the expression these have been fixed till they're broken I think the person who tried to fix all of these broken beyond repair um, so we're gonna do our best let's see what happens with this one so we connected the power and uh, we want to hear some sounds doesn't power on and no sounds here now we need to uh, replace the power supply and see what's up these are like completely dead so I put a known good working power supply in here and um, it is now making sounds for the eject button however it's not powering on there's uh, something wrong with the motherboard let's take a look at the mother so we're replacing a bunch of uh, really um, expensive chips uh, with the Metcal so let's see what happens so we did get it to um, power on by changing a few chips, however this was fondled so much it's still a blue light of death. Well it's not looking good for the 10 systems that I bought, this is number 3, um, the first two were a complete botch, let's see what this one is up to. These were all previously open, repair attempted, they're complete disasters, let's see if this one does anything. Oh. It doesn't even power on. No beeps, no nothing. All right, let's hope. Oh, yeah, rusty. Great. This one might just be a uh, water damage heaven. Um, let's put a power supply that works and see. Well, well, well. We do have some sound here. Let's try to power it on. Oh. It powers on for just a second and dies. So much water damage, the connector completely ripped off. Right away we see the APU is uh, burnt. Um, you see these bubbles right there? Somebody attempted and burnt the APU. This is not repairable at all. This one is garbage. Alright, I still have seven more to go. Uh, hopefully I can fix uh, two or three. Recuperate some of my money. Um, this is definitely a bad investment so far. Um, let's see what's going on with this one over here. Let's call it number four. So I have it in the power, let's see. Oh, another one of those. I don't power on at all. Zero, nothing, nilch, nada. So I put a working power supply in. And we still have nothing. That's terrible. So I took this motherboard out and oh! What is that? I can't imagine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this whole area up, I'm gonna remove every chip here and try to rebuild this entire circuit. A thousand percent bet some genius tried to plug the power outlet into the HDMI port. 
All right, this is part two of this disaster. I removed the shield over here over the HDMI chip. I can see the HDMI chip completely obliterated. This is the first time I've ever seen it this bad ever. Um, and I'm going to remove it. I'm going to remove the filters. I'm going to remove everything in this whole entire area. Hopefully I can get it to power on at least, and then I'll rebuild. After removing some major chips, it still didn't power on, so I did a damn near full sweep of the entire area. I'm going to rebuild it if it does power on. Um, so we removed that entire area right here. We removed most of the stuff over here. I don't think any of this shit would have burnt out, but we'll see. Of course, what am I thinking? This whole thing is fucking fried. Um, there's another chip that's broken right there for whatever freaking reason. Has nothing to do with that, but you know, over voltage, over drive. When you put 220 volts, to the HDMI port. This all right, so I have six more to do. I think all of these is gonna be garbage, but this is number five. Let's label it, let's see what's up with it. Oh, there it goes. All right, is it gonna power on? What was I thinking? Nope. A uh, known working power supply in here, let's see. Oh, and it turns off right away. Unbelievable. Another one with a fried APU. If you don't know how to fix these, just don't touch them. You will fry the APU. You will make it look like this. This is disgusting. That's another loss right here. This is a uh, board that is useless. I got five more to go. Let's see if any of these are actually something. I'm getting pretty bummed out right now. All right, number six. You can hear the enthusiasm in my freaking voice right now. This is gonna be shit. Yeah, guess what? It turns on for just one second. And turns right back off. It's a burnt APU. This guy burnt everything. This is a lot of garbage. Another one where they attempted a APU repair. Um, However, I don't see that the chip is burnt, but it could be burnt where you don't see it. So let's see if I can repair this one. So the APU doesn't seem like to be burnt out. Uh, I got it to blue light, so it's blue light of death at the moment. Let's see if we can fix it. And unbelievably, I replaced a few chips on this board and I actually got it to post the PlayStation logo and now it's gonna give me the no storage found. This is the first one to be repaired out of the entire lot. Finally. Alright guys, this is number seven. Let's see what's up with it. Oh, man, it dies right away. Alright, so we replaced the power supply on this one and we got it to white light. However, there's nothing on the screen and the tester is absolutely messed up. So there has to be something wrong with the HDMI signaling. Let's open it up. Wow, what a complete moron. How do you destroy everything right here? Trying to take off an HDMI port. This is this is disgusting. I had and removed everything that I saw that's physically bad. Now I'm gonna take the multimeter and test all these components. Removed all of the suspect components. Um, so there's so many components that we removed. Let's rebuild and let's see. A quick rundown on what we did. We did the HDMI port here. Um, we did the filters. We did. Um, the capacitors here on the side, we did the HDMI chip, and we also did um, the diodes. So basically, a this is number seven again, uh, part two. Um, we did power it on the first time, we saw nothing. However, after replacing the speaker and the capacitor for the speaker, now we actually hear the power beep. Boop and um, the chip needed to be installed a little bit more properly, but BAM! I'm telling you, if I can't fix a WLOD, nobody can. I fix every single WLOD for the PlayStation 4, get at me. And of course, this is a scam lot from somebody that wanted to scam everybody. I'm testing everything else. This doesn't really get pulled in. I'm gonna install the software. I'm gonna have to fix that disc before I can even be able to sell it. Um, I can't sell something like this. I think this one is ready for resale. Put it all together. Number eight. So far, we know this is a scam lot, so I expect nothing. Oh, hey, it actually does something. 
And... Oh, look at that! It doesn't die out in a second. Unbelievable. Oh, there's nothing on the HDMI, so this one is very strange. It could be a white light of death or something else. Let's see. Oh, it's a white light of death. Let's do it. See, now this one might not be repairable. If you look this schmuck right here, he warped the board around the port completely. This is so messed up. This might not come back to life. Um, let's see what I can do. So I rebuilt the whole entire circuit. Now it's time for an HDMI port and let's test. After all this work, we have everything. So I spent some time on this number eight, tracing every single pin here. And I noticed that there is a, um, a messed up uh, pin number uh, 19. It was messed up. That's the HPD, which is the um, high definition uh, uh, signal detect. And uh, that seemed to be corrupt. So that goes directly to, um, let's see on this microscope here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I need to clean all this flux, but... Uh, let's see here, let's see here. It goes to the um, end of this diode here, and the connection to it is on the back. So what I've done is I took a trace, I took a trace from here, and ran it to the back of the board. And um, that got it work. And uh, incompatible video signal, but boom. All right, let's take a look at the ninth one. Gotta make uh, four of these work in order to break even. Let's make this number four. All right, will this turn on? Oh, nothing. So I replaced the power supply and it did go to the white light. It didn't beep or anything like that. So it must have a terrible HDMI problem as well. Let's take a look at the motherboard. Again, whoever tried to fix these is a complete moron. He did so much damage everywhere. Um, let's put a new port, let's replace the speaker and the capacitor, and check everything else. So we removed the burnt out Ethernet port, we removed a bunch of other components, the HDMI port, the speaker, the capacitor, um, a capacitor here, a diode there. Um, we also removed the diode from the back, and we cleaned up. Now it's time to test all these components, and then um, try to solder back some stuff and test. All right, so this is part two of that number nine. We put the HDMI port, we added the diode, we added the capacitor, we added the other diode over here. Um, we're still gonna test first before we add the speaker, the capacitor, and the uh, ethernet port, so let's go test. So as I suspected, this probably has um, a chip problem. Not, o not only that the guy has messed up everything else, but the chip is also bad. He tried to fix it by not knowing what's going on. Um, so it has some sort of signal, but not enough for it to actually give something to the TV. Let's remove the chip, install a new one, and test. So, we got the board running. Now we have to put the uh, rest of the chip. All right, so we're installing the system software now. 1080i is working, and now it's doing the second phase of the installation process. There you have it, folks. Number nine is officially repaired. Finally, we got this one um, done as well. All right, now the last piece of shit system, number 10 out of the 10 scam lot. Let's see what this is all about. Mm, just looking at it, looks like the HDMI port just needs to be replaced, but I'm sure it's not even going to power on, so let's see. So it actually does make some noises here. Let's turn it on. Ah, the power button doesn't work <laughs> for whatever reason. Oh, what a bunch of crappy ass systems. So the touch button wasn't touching correctly. It actually does turn to a white light, which is a good sign. Um, the fan is working. Um, there is a, you know, there's signs of life here. So let's take off the motherboard and check out the HDMI port. What a surprise. Look at the solder splatter right there. I can't believe it actually turns on even with this huge piece of solder right there. What a jerk off. And yeah, the HDMI port is an attempted repair. What an idiot. So part two of number 10, this might just be an HDMI port repair. Let's replace this HDMI real quick and see. 
So we removed the port, we haven't cleaned up yet, but we can obviously see a bunch of rip pads. So we're gonna have to run traces on these. So let's clean it up, let's put a new port and run the traces. So we cleaned the area, we added a new port, and uh, check out under the microscope here, you're gonna see that 19 is ripped, and a lot of the HDMI signaling pins are ripped. So what we did is we soldered the port on first, and then we're going to go and trace every single one of these to their proper location. All right, so we got the first trace going here all the way to the uh, diode right there. Move it up, yep, right there. Let's do the other five. Okay, so this is the second trace right here, going there. All right, so this is the third trace right here, going up to this one right there. Here's the fourth trace, it didn't play. So we got the fifth one here and it was pretty annoying and now the grounds are going to be very annoying as well because they have to over cross the other traces and um, these are all all these wires are um, coated so i'm lucky with that and then i'm gonna have to coat it again let's do the last three pins so we've traced almost every single one that was bad all of this is flux by the way that's not soldered together that's just flux um and here are the traces all of these the grounds and the one going to the diode um so there's one ground left we're gonna have to do that and let's and so we hooked it up temporarily and boom we have it running let's put it back together so off camera i tried to update the system and it wouldn't work that means that there's something wrong with this uh blu-ray drive board so let's take a look at it there's gonna be a part three and so even though we fixed this board right here um, this is not the right drive. You'll get 358882. So now I have to look up, you know, inside of the 10 and uh, see if I have the uh, correct board. Because um, without the correct board, you don't have the right encryption and you can't install anything. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. If it gives you oranges, you make orangeade. And if it deals you shit, you make the best damn manure fertilizer you can possibly make. I got into it again, huh?